Hey, it's late on late in the evening on Tuesday afternoon, uh, March 17th. I just got back from work. I uh, just wanted to show you quickly a few things. There's been some uh, busy things going on in the backyard here, and I thought I'd just peek in on some things and show you a couple of things real quick. First thing I want to show you earlier today, my wife sent me a video, and I had this old B box here set up for my dead out from earlier this winter and I just left the comb in and just set it over here put a little swarm commander in it it's probably been here a couple of weeks two or three weeks maybe and uh, she sent me a video and the bees were coming into it like crazy um, let me show you what it looks like here it just happened earlier today look at all those bees in here this is a swarm that just entered this box today. So it's not a bad idea to have swarm traps sitting around wherever your bees are. Just, I've done this before, so right here, right here by my house, just on this little wall right here. And it seems to be a pretty good spot. My hives are right over there. And if you look, um, she's not sure which hive they came out, but she thinks they came out of that hive right there, the nuke, the triple deep nuke with the blue bottom. And that's probably true. That's a hive that's been pretty strong. I don't think I've split it this year or anything like that. So um, let me talk a little bit about some hive management I've done here lately. Um, let's see. So you guys have kind of peeked in some of these hives with me over the last few days. Uh, the bees have glued this lid down here. This is the first one I call an enterprise. I'm just gonna gently crack the lid and we're gonna peek inside here. These bees are doing good. I'm not gonna go through these hives in any uh, detail. Don't really have smoke. I don't wanna get them too fired up. They're a little bit feisty already. I'm afraid these bees might be a little bit more aggressive than I want, so I might have to move them. I'm gonna probably move them to an out yard somewhere. But, uh, how many bees we got in there? All right. Yep, they're getting after me good. Stung right there on my arm. That bee just got me. I don't know if I'm going to really go checking these bees. That hive, that's the second swarm I caught down the library. They're obviously doing well to see all the bees, and I'm going to get out of here. They are stinging me, getting after me. Only one to sting so far, but they're definitely bumping me. I'm going to walk away. Should go get smoked, but I just, I didn't want to do that. This hive right here is a strong hive from a Pendale Queen. They've been doing well. Hive right here originally was the three-in-one split I did a while back. Um, I pulled a split off of them not long ago, put them over here with the queen, so they should be building up. Um, they actually, since I put them close, a lot of the bees, I think, flew back home. Hasn't looked super strong, but I'm sure she's in there laying. Um, these are generally pretty nice bees. They are, usually aren't really aggressive. I'll say that and they'll get aggressive. I might, might actually get my smoker, but... We don't want to, so. so they're definitely building up. I'm kind of excited. The bees here are really doing awesome. Um, so I, that's the queen from the middle nuke over there. When I took it off, it, it condensed down to two deeps, and there was a lot of brood and stuff left in there. I just did like a walk away split. There were some uh, queen cells in there, so. Um, it was so packed with bees this uh, past weekend when I was doing all my splits that I went all the way. There was only one frame in the second box really that had, I mean, there were bees bearding from the top and the bottom. It was only two boxes deep. So um, I saw some queen cells on the second box and I set it off to the side a little bit. Went in the bottom box and found another frame that had queen cells in it. And I took that frame out with bees and I carried it over here kind of a mess back here, but this little green nuke over here, and my little two-frame mini nukes, and I put that frame, and I don't remember, I may have shaken some more bees in there too, but this was on Saturday, I believe, when I did this. It may have been Friday, I can't remember exactly, I think, I don't remember which day it was, but there they are. 
Like I said, this had cells in it just almost from the walkaway split I had done. There's quite a few bees in there and they're already starting to build comb and, and do well. I really don't want to disturb them, like I said, much this evening. You can see how that one's looking. If those cells will hatch and should go made, I think we'll end up with a big queen there. Back in the original hive over there, there were so many bees. Um, I took some of the bees out of the hive that they get all over the lid in those kind of nukes and there was a big, like an inch thick of bees on there. So I took them and just dumped those bees and shook them in front of this hive here. And I think they went up and in there and that's one reason the population is better in there. Kind of reunited them with their original queen. And then I put an extra box on there with just frames, just uh, empty frames in it, black, uh, triple wax Pierco frames in it. And you can see the bees in the upper entrance up there. So it's totally full of bees even still. And hopefully that queen cell that I saw on there, that frame that had queen cells on it, or at least one cell, hopefully that will hatch or it'll emerge and she'll mate and we'll have a nice hive here. And just still have some brood in it. That's why they continue to have such a tremendous population. This hive is the one I'm pretty sure swarmed. It was packed with bees. It's pretty full. If you look right in here in the top, I'm not gonna lift the lid on this, but you're gonna have to swarm you so there's a lot of bees in there. I don't know how thick they are once you get down into the boxes, but so then, um, this is the survivor bees. I'm survivor bees. I'm not even going to lift that lid because they get a little feisty. This right here is a double deep, as you can see, and I pulled the split off a bit. I found the original queen. I pulled the split off a bit, I think, last probably Thursday, maybe, Thursday evening. And I put them in here with their original queen. And so it's a good solid nuke. It should fill up pretty quick. And I actually, see all the bees? I actually put the queen cell in here from Sleeping Bear. The last queen cell I had after I put in all the rest of my splits from this past weekend, I put in here. So really what I'm getting down to with all this explanation here, I look right there at all those rubber bands they pulled out of the Survivor Beehive from that cutout. It just always amazes me how what bees do and the things that they, they do at times. And my bee yard back here in my yard is a little bit messy. I apologize for that. I got to clean it up a little bit. The straps laying around everywhere, but I just get so busy and I just don't always do everything like I should. What I want to do, and, and typically when you put cells in a hive, it's best to leave them alone for a couple of weeks. But I really think it'll be okay if I just peek in here real gently and lift the cell up. She should have hatched out Sunday and I just want to see if the cell has hatched. I'm not going to go through the hive. I'm not going to look for the queen. I'm going to try to disturb them as minimal as possible. I just, I'm just dying to see if she hatched. They're supposedly really good queens. If she didn't, I guess maybe I did something wrong, although I don't think I did. I'm trying to be as easy as I can because I don't have smoke and I don't want to disturb them any more than I have to. Even after taking that split out, you can see a lot of bees in here. The cell is right there in the middle. These bees are checking it out. You see the round cell? The cup right there, queen cup. If you look down between the frames, you can see they're putting honey in here like crazy. I'm gonna have to stick the super this thing up. The honey flow is really starting to hit right now. Hopefully they won't get after me too bad. Just gonna separate a little bit. They're still interested in it. Hopefully she just hatched on out of there. Real easy. I don't want to get lit up here. Yep. She's hatched. No queen. They're breaking the cell down. So she must be in there somewhere. They're breaking that cell down. Yep, there's the rest of the wax from that side. Yep. You know, I'm not 100% sure. She hatched, that's one side of the cell. That's the other side of the cell. I hope she did. If she didn't, down, they'll, they've made some emergency cells. 
I'm pretty, I think she hatched, I hope so. I'm gonna cover them back up. The bees seem calm, which would be an indication, hopefully there's a queen in there, a virgin queen running around. So um, that's what I'm thinking. One thing that has me a little concerned about this cell is it looks like the end is still on there. Unless they kind of released her from the side. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Just thought I'd check and see. Oh, I did want to mention too while I'm out here. Let me slide that lid back on here. I need to get some honey boxes stacked on this joker. Those bees are putting it in. Even since I saw checked on this past weekend, just a few days. I love the way bees smell. That may sound weird to those who don't have bees, but there is a definite smell out here with these hives. I think honey's definitely coming in. It's kind of a sweet smell. It doesn't really smell like flowers per se, or, or really maybe not even like honey, but it just smells really good. Maybe it's the nectar. Maybe that's how the nectar smells. I'm not sure, but I love the way the bees smell uh, when they're bringing that honey in, at least this kind of honey. Now, when they're bringing in goldenrod in the fall, it doesn't smell near as good, but this is a sweet, sweet time for the bees. They're just starting to hit honey flow. We're gonna be full throttle here for a couple of months now, two to three months with them bringing in honey. I'll be packing a bunch in, so I'll have plenty of honey to sell. I really hope the queen hatched in this. I think when I pulled the, the cell, the, uh, the old cell out, I might have just ripped it a little bit. That's, there's a bee stuck on there somehow, stuck in the wax. Get her out of there. But, so y'all take a look at this. See what you think. Now, once again, the cell may have just ripped when I pulled it off of the hive. Um, that's what it looks like. You think the queen hatched? Or do you think they've obviously done something to it? They've either pulled her out or she's hatched. There's a possibility, I guess, that there was a virgin queen in there already. Um, they came up and destroyed her and took her out. I don't know. Maybe these bees were about ready to swarm before I split the queen over into that box. I don't remember seeing any queen cells in there, but I guess it's possible. So that is a possibility as well, I guess. Y'all tell me what you think. Give me your theory. Um, I think that was the end of the cell right there, possibly. So I don't know if she hatched or not. Either way, I think I've got a queen in there and uh, hopefully it'll turn and continue on and won't skip a beat and continue to be a strong guy. All right, y'all, I'll sign off for now. Thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. Subscribe if you'd like on the next video.